Hey you going guys, welcome back for another video at AJ's Car Garage. So I um, just want to apologise about my audio first thing in the last couple of videos. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, it's not until everything saves after I edit it and it's all over the place. So yeah, I don't know what's going on. I think I might have to look for a new program. Anyway, um, today's video, finally getting the sump done and dusted and back on the block. Um, also, we'll get another couple other little things done, or ticked off the list, hopefully. And yeah, we'll um, <clears throat> we'll see what it looks like at the end after we get this sump on, eh? See you then. Alright, time to start on the sun. I'm going to tidy this thing up and go from there. Let's do it. Alright, I think I've got that sorted out for the moment. It's pretty close to being the same as that, just by eye. Now, I don't know, or well, I can't remember if I've mentioned in previous video previous videos about the baffle plate um i have cut it um, you know, yeah trimmed it back in certain spots like here and there you know so it fits down in here properly like so i'm pretty sure i've got that sorted out for the most part now to modify this end and get that all sitting down nice and flush um, I'm gonna start off by trimming off 60 mil off the end here and see where that gets us I'll update you and let you know how much more I take off if I need to take any more off just cut that bit off <coughs> oh, sorry about that so still not quite sitting down how I would sort of like it, so I don't know if you're going to be able to see in under there properly or not, but that part of the baffle plate is just touching the base, same as on this side, so I think what I'm going to do now is go something like that. From about here around and down and see how we go from there maybe I might come a bit, little bit closer to the edges that are touching oh uh, we'll see okay so there it is <coughs> I ended up going back a bit from the corner that would have been you know, sticking out here somewhere here's the second bit I took off and yeah I just took the sharp little edges off the corner um, <clears throat> you might be thinking why I didn't you know, just go straight across there like that on both sides um, plain and simple um, why that's like that I don't know but um yeah less air movement down towards the oil and um yeah less aeration of the oil so um yeah prevents the oil from foaming all that sort of nasty stuff that oil doesn't like so as you can see i've already gone along and marked where the holes are um so now all i really need to do is work out how i'm going to actually attach this thing back in there um whether well, I'm pretty sure I know how to do it. Um, 
stainless steel screws red and uh, maybe not red no I will use red so it shouldn't need to come out again stainless steel screws red thread lock and be done with it so um yeah that be that um yeah I'll let you know how we do with attaching it So he's just seen me clearance the sump with the engine and she's all sweet so now what I'm gonna do is sort of work on the holes no <laughs> work on the holes work on mounting the baffle to the sump drilling the holes now I'm using 12 gauge stainless steel sheet metal screws 25 mil i'll probably only end up cutting them down and using 10 mil of them <clears throat> and um i think these are quarter inch washers but i'm also going to use underneath the screws so should do the job i mean it's nothing that major that's getting hold da held down now I'm also going to be using thread lockers, so hopefully these won't come undone. And, um, yeah, hopefully we'll be sweet. Um, yeah, I guess we'll find out if I hear any banging and cracking and carrying on in the sump down the track. But anyway, to make sure I don't go past, um, let's say, 12 mil. I want to measure 12 mil of me um drill bit and yeah, mark it off so I won't go past it. Now, if you want to know the pilot hole size, they're generally marked. Yeah, generally on the back of the screws and whatever you'll buy. I'm sure, you'll figure that out. But um, yeah. Anyway. Mark this down, 12 mil, and let's do it. Pilot hole to start with, with a two mil. Yeah, <clears throat> twelve mil. I'm not going to bother marking it because twelve mil basically is the whole thread of the screw. So soon as all that screw thread's gone, drill thread, I'm going to stop. I thought, yeah, like a mil off. So. Yeah, and then I'm going to go through to four and a half mil, and yeah, hopefully we'll be all sweet. Step one done. Let me turn my light on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now I'm going to go around four and a half mil. Wish me luck. Step two, so far, so good. I haven't gone through the sides, in particular of these ones. So, at the moment, we're all sweet. Next, what I'm going to do is going to drive one of these down into each hole until it's basically hit the bottom. Then we'll know, you know, the threads in there and then I'll go along and cut these down and hopefully we'll be all good so 
We'll see you when that's done. So far, so good. That's it. That's it in there now. Obviously, yes, they are way too long at this point in time. I will cut them down. But they are all in there, threaded. So what I did was, so self-tappers aren't exactly self-tappers. That's why you gotta pilot them. But even still, self-tappers should cut their own thread. Eh, <coughs> wrong. These didn't. So what I ended up doing was getting a roofing screw, 12 gauge, or yeah, 12 gauge, same as what gauge these are, and um, drilling them out, well yeah, threading them out with them, yeah, chewed their own holes, their own threads, whatnot, blah blah blah, all good. Then I went and cut the end off and then sunk that back down in the hole so the thread could reach the base of the hole as best as possible. <coughs> and yeah, next step now, obviously we'll be cutting these down and making sure they will be short enough to seat properly. Alright. So there they are, they're all in there, seated nicely, Oop, we'll get that out of the way. Now, all I did was get 10mm up on the <coughs> invernia, use the depth gauge of it, and well, it's not quite 10mm but that'll do. It'll be about nine mil, something like that. But anyway, it's all sweet. They all sit in there, all nicely. This one, but I need to, if I can see it. It's not quite sitting flush. So I just need to take out a little bit at the back with me die grinder and we'll be sweet. So yeah, so far so good. Next step is I'll test fit the plate. But um yeah, first obviously I'm gonna give all this a clean out before I assemble it the way it's gonna be. Test fit it, deassemble clean it all out good and proper inside and out I'll tear, de tear down what's left of the sump which is really only one, two, one or two fittings being this one the return for the oil from the turbo and um, yeah give the whole thing a royal clean up debating whether or not I should paint it so yeah um, Final clean down, no, not final clean down, sorry, just cleaned it down. Final test fitment, I've got it all assembled the way it's going to be, you yeah, know, except for the thread locker and whatnot. But yeah, anyway, pre assembly, last test fit, let's do it. Go. Oof. Mickey Mouse. All right, now I'm gonna take it off. Take the baffle out again. Clean it all down. I'll take me a little oil return connection off here. Give everything a clean up. And yeah, she's sweet. Alright, she's all cleaned up. I've got all but one um, screw in, which I'll run through in a minute. 
pretty self-explanatory common sense really but anyway I'll go through with you real quick what I've done with them so <clears throat> just gonna grab a bit of oh, 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 try not to lose it grab a bit of thread locker bit on there like that so that's ready next time you'll see this should be going on the engine try and give the old headlight and my stuff up a bit of a touch up and see if we can't rectify it would you believe that, that looked as good as that not after that acetone got to it but anyway got me buff pad and applicator pads up here and um, some Meguiar's plastics formula it's supposed to remove cloudiness yellowing all that sort of stuff I haven't exactly used it bought a few years ago for something never used it so I'll give it a go Let's go Applicator pads and whatnot are uh, stuffed. Elastic in them won't hold them to my machine properly, it's making it awkward. But from what I did get, I think it looks uh, at least 50% better. It's going to take a lot to get that out. But um, yeah, I don't know if we can get the main all cleaned up nicely. I think I'll be happy. If we get majority of that away, I'll be happy too. We'll see. But um, yeah, I want to see what we can do with this stuff and or some other um plastic restoration stuff but um yeah I've heard a lot about alloy polish that cleans this stuff up very nicely so um yeah anyway that's that for now well, it's all just giving me wash a bottle to clean down <clears throat> yeah, I'm just gonna give it a heat up right off Already have dried it off, so I'm just gonna give it a quick heat up right off me. And we'll go along and give it a coat of paint. Make it look all schmicky. thousand years later got me clean painted washer bottle come up pretty good managed to um, deal 
with my run a little bit well not really but it's not there anymore ended up just dabbing it away with a bit of um plastic bag anyway um fit the motor and stuff back into it giving them a bit of a clean up um you know notorious the washer bottle caps split so i'm just gonna hold it together with a zip tie so i don't lose it um and yeah so let's do it now this one needs to be loose so you need it all the way down to be able to squeeze the grommet in properly and then you can slide the level mechanism into the grommet to pry the grommet over the top of the um, level reader. And there she is, ready to go back in the car. Looking pretty good. Yeah, could be better, but you know, whatever. I'll source one out when I need to get a new one. Over on the car, there's two screws that hold it on, one located here and one located here. Bit of foam that originally sits over this bit in the bottom, sits down in a groove in here in the wheel arch. Just going to slide him back over the top, like so. <coughs> slide washer bottle into position these plugs I'm not really sure about but I'm pretty sure clear white one goes into the clear white one for your level and then it's one of the black either the black or the grey for the washer motor itself um yeah with wagons they use both of them to get water to the back window so um yeah we're just gonna see i'm gonna go with the black one plug that in and when it comes time if it doesn't work i can just swap the connections back over There she is. Not the best looking thing in the world, but it ties it in with what I'm doing, color wise and whatnot. Brings the color from the engine to the engine bay. Okay, now's the time that I've been waiting for. I'm pretty sure you've all been waiting for as well. Installing the sump. Everything's all installed the buffer plates all installed as you can see i've gone along and given it a paint up and looking pretty schmicky <clears throat> give you a quick look at the inside and there we go just to recap i have gone and put thread locker on all of them they are oh they're down here where are they these ones 12 gauge by 25 mil they are cut down to about 10 mil and um yeah so stainless steel so what i'll do now i'll go along and give the surface where the gasket's gonna be a nice clean up i'll do the same here go along the surface Give it all a nice clean up and then yeah we'll go along and bolt it down
I've gone around and given the surface of the sump a nice clean same with the block giving it all a nice clean up so now what I'll do is I'll get some RTV goo and on the sections where there's going to be a join like here and here at the front and a little bit here and here at the back um, yeah I'll put a little bit there as well not get any come off from this point here when I pulled everything apart but I was kind of thinking maybe I should have put a little bit of RTV goo on the end caps to um, yeah, make sure no oil gets through those machined areas but anyway this what it is when I put the rear main seal in I'll also um, put some in there on the joining areas so yeah and on here I'll put a bit of RTV goo just a little bit to help it sit in position while I flip it upside down and put it on the engine yeah. Oh, you know four corners and maybe a dab in the middle just a dab just enough to hold it in spot so let's do it Got the gasket in there nicely, rubber seal, a bit of a push me pull me action to make sure it sort of sits in there nicely. Now we'll go and on the engine. One in each corner, here, 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 and here. These two always get missed, well not always, probably 90% of the time when taking the gearbox, or well, sorry, the sump off the engine, in the engine bay, and oh, people, well I can't get the sump off, I run generally 90% of the time it's these two bolts, anyway. Get them in there. So the smaller sump bolts are 10 newton meters or 7.37 foot pounds. So the bigger ones that go in the side are 42.77 foot pound. 
<coughs> or 58 newton meters. sump plug in there as of yet as mine looks a bit rusty and had it I'll pull it out of there and show you not that I don't think it ever leaked but yeah I'm not happy with that bit but yeah anyway <coughs> yeah she is finally bolted on there Pretty schmicky. I'll take that tape off later. Oof. So how about we get this thing turned up the right way? There we go. What do you reckon? like a pretty complete engine right now just a couple of little things missing Oof. looking looking pretty smack I put a poll up the other day I don't know how many people voted but there was a couple of votes on there for me to paint it and I'm glad you said yes. That looks pretty dang sneaky. Even if it is on the bottom of the engine it won't get seen too much. Oof, looking great. Alright, so we're going to have to leave that one here. I reckon we've done a pretty good job this time round. We got the sump. Back over here on this thing, looking great. And yeah, we got the washer bottle in there, so I can start sort of doing my little bracket in there for me fuel pressure regulator and my oil catch can soon to come. And yeah, well, we tried um, restoring the headlight for the driver's side there. Tried, but applicator pads and stuff oh don't want to work so yeah anyway let's see what we got over here that we can cross off some bang bang oh what's going on it says a sump taken care of what else have we got? The headlight resto can stay up there. Um, washer bottles in, so we can take that off. Let's try. So, slowly, surely, a couple of things taken off. Wish we could have got a couple of more things, but it is what it is. Now, next time round, I'm going to try and get um, some of the water pipe taken care of. And, um... Yeah, start, you know, alternator, start getting 
just a few little bits and pieces done so um yeah really starting to get down to the nitty gritty stuff now where I need to um take care of the engine bay and whatnot and yeah get it ready for this thing to go back home so let's do it I hope you're enjoying yourselves no matter what you're doing morning noon or night wherever you are in the world hope you're taking care of yourselves and being safe and well and um yeah don't forget to drop a like drop a comment below and let me know what you think and how i'm going and um yeah what are your thoughts on what i'm doing don't forget to share the video to everyone you know and yeah if you haven't already done so please subscribe cheers catch us on the next one peace <laughs>